Hey, good afternoon. Thank you very much uh, for being here for this press conference. Um, just so I can make sure that everybody is aware of and knows everybody that's up here. Uh, my far right is Captain Dave Conway, Under Sheriff uh, Jason Johnson, Captain Tony Rio, and then Detective Glenville Keedy, uh, all with the Sheriff's Office. Wanted to get together today and just talk about an incident uh, that happened um, around 3.30 uh, last night. Our deputies responded to an armed robberies, an armed robbery at the Dino's Casino located at 5318 West Harrier Drive. Two male suspect, suspects, heavily armed, both wearing masks, entered the casino demanding money and other items. The suspects then left the casino and carjacked an SUV charcoal in color belonging to a family from Washington and at gunpoint they took the family hostage with them in the vehicle. This family included a mother, a father, two young children, uh, and their grandmother. Within a couple minutes deputies and officers were able to locate the vehicle traveling eastbound on Interstate 90 near Grant Creek Road. They attempted to pull the vehicle over and a vehicle pursuit began and ensued through the city of Missoula. Initially, the adult female hostage was the driver of the vehicle, and as a result, the pursuit, the speeds were slow or, or moderate. A deputy was able to begin negotiations uh, with the suspects uh, through 911 and the male husband's uh, cell phones. The suspects immediately demanded that law enforcement back off and stay back for several blocks, or they threatened that they would shoot someone inside of the vehicles. So the deputies and the officers backed off but continued to follow the vehicle from a safe distance. The deputy was able to convince the suspects to first release a 12-year-old boy uh, by Taco Bell on Reserve Street and later to release a 14-year-old female along with her grandmother at the intersection of Russell uh, and West Broadway. At that point, one of the suspects uh, began driving the vehicle. The suspects refused to release the mother and the father. With the suspect driving the vehicle, the pursuit then headed southbound on Brooks uh, at a very high rate of speed. And near the intersection of Door Lane, the male driver uh, turned around and then fired multiple shots from the vehicle at pursuing deputies and officers. Because of the high rates, rates of speed and erratic driving, uh, law enforcement lost sight of the vehicle in the downtown uh, Missoula area. So deputies and officers immediately began searching surrounding areas and notifying neighboring counties. At approximately 0521 hours, dispatch was contacted by the two remaining family members. They reported that they had been released by the suspects who fled on foot near Sweetgrass Lane and Highway 93 North. Deputies, officers, troopers, and our canine unit searched the area, but we were unable to locate the suspects who we believe were ultimately picked up at some point by an accomplice. Before I take some questions, let me just first say that we're very thankful that this family is safe, unharmed, and, and that they're re reunited and together. Right now, we're working very hard to apprehend uh, these suspects. Our detectives are in the process of sorting through all of the information, pulling up on leads in an attempt to determine their location. We're providing the descriptions of the suspects and we're asking for the community's help in locating them. The suspects are considered armed and extremely dangerous. I have the following descriptions at this time for the suspects. Suspect number one is an African American male, five foot eight, 140 to 165 pounds. He's well spoken. He was wearing dark pants, black sweatshirt, sunglasses, a black bandana, with a black hat or a hoodie. He's armed with two handguns. Suspect number two is a light-skinned white male, 5'6 to 5'7, 140 to 165 pounds. Blue eyes, black pants, black sweatshirt, black bandana with a white design. And 